Hey leaders, hey, thank you for watching these videos every week. We're, we're trying something new and we're really committing to this. Uh, we're gonna keep these videos under three minutes or right around there. So if you can do me a favor, give me three minutes of your time every week, we're gonna try to teach you something that we're, we're really passionate about. Hey, this week we're finalizing or finishing up our uh, growing group scorecard. And so the thing that we're talking about this week is world changer. But just to kind of recap about what we've been talking about, uh, these are our measures, God first, banded together, force multiplier and world changer. So if we see this, or if we see this within our groups, if we're living out each one of these categories, this is what you're gonna see. So one way to easily remember this is God first. This is something you're gonna see evidence of in your life. If we're banded together in our groups, then we're gonna feel this. If we're force multiplying, then we're, this is something that we do. And then world changer, this is something that we become. So we're gonna see this, we're gonna feel this, we're going to do this so that we can become this. So this really is like the ultimate one that we want to do because we want to go out and change the world for the gospel. So when I think of world changer, I think of Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. The Bible says, have, not, have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not tremble or be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. The whole purpose is that we get outside of the four walls and that we share the gospel, uh, and then we further that in everything that we do. And that's the purpose. That's what we want to do. That's the Great Commission. That's what God has commanded us to do. So uh, how do we do that within our groups? Well, uh, a group adopts a ministry or a mission to support with their time, talents, or treasures. You know, we have a couple of things that go on on Wednesday nights. Uh, one of those is pack, Backpack Love. Uh, something that you can adopt as your Bible fellowship group is you can go and maybe serve in that on a Wednesday night, or maybe you just support that in some kind of way. Uh, we also have Mosaic Ministry, which is uh, our foster to adopt or our foster ministry. Uh, you can also support that. Uh, or maybe this looks like a single mom at Christmas. You know, Miss Sydney has uh, several opportunities for some of our groups to adopt some single moms at Christmas time and really fulfill those wish lists that those kids have. That is a huge thing, and trust me, you will be blessed by doing so. The second thing is, is that group members share the gospel once per month. You know, we want you sharing the gospel. We want your group members sharing the gospel more than that, whether they're on the ball field or at the basketball court or maybe at work. Uh, but we're asking that they do that at least once per month. We want to try to work up to that to get to where we're doing that every single day. And lastly, group members participate in quarterly local events uh, or causes to advance the gospel. And some of those would be Lanier Lane. You know, we did that last fall. Uh, to where we, we really leaned on all of our Bible fellowship groups to go and serve at this basketball community event. We all had our BPBC shirts on, uh, and so that was a great cause that we really did. Uh, and we're working on another fall project right now uh, that we're going to have some more information about very soon. So, uh, hey, thank you for watching this 